Hello, we have seen how to generate access token using the auth code which is provided by Google when the user grants access to their account. But this access token is valid only for 60 minutes. What do we do after that? In the same step, along with the access token, we were provided with refresh token as well. So we'll have to regenerate the access token using the refresh token to be able to use it again. And this access token is again valid for 60 minutes. So we will either have to generate access token every 60 minutes from the backend workflow, or we can include this step just before any other step which requires access token. Let me show you how. If we go to the PDF generation process, so here we are requiring access token. So what I'll do is I'll search for token. I'll go to the end where we have PDF Maker Pro get access token via refresh token. I'll make this as the first step. This requires client ID, client secret and the refresh token. So I've already copied the client ID and the client secret, both of which we get from Google Cloud project. We have already made a recording which explains how do we get client ID and client secret and the refresh token. I do not have a refresh token handy, but let me just put the refresh token, which we would have got from the initial step when we generate the first access token, right? So you give the refresh token here. What this step does is it gives you the access token, which can be used for next 60 minutes. So we can say result of step one, access token. So this is how we will generate access token every time we want to use it using the refresh token. Or what you could also do is go to the backend workflow and create a new API workflow, call it as refresh tokens. And search for token. PDF Maker Pro get access token via refresh token, which requires client ID, the client secret, and the refresh token, which you would have saved in the database. So let's say do a search for sheets refresh token. First items refresh token. Right. So once you do this, you can save the access token back to the database. So maybe make changes to things. Do a search for PD. We want to add the access token. So I'll go here. token which is of type text go to the workflow first item add whatever constraints you want and then access token equals to the result of step one's access token keep in mind this is very sensitive information which can grant access to your account so save it with a hash and also take care of privacy policy so this is not leaked out. And once this is done, then you can schedule API workflow call refresh tokens, current date and time, plus minutes 55. Because you want to be generating the access token before it gets expired. And now you can keep using search for PDFs first items access token anywhere in the workflow for getting the access token, which is always valid. 
I hope this helps. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to contact support at 7com Thank you. Have a nice day.